Um, well, we want to do the tracks. So with a, um, a voltage divider, let's say 5 volts comes in and we want say 2.5 volts out, for example, and ground of course, you'd want 5 volts there and you'd want two resistors in place so if you want half of the resistance you'd put two equal resistors so a 1k there and a 1k there and um, just for our sake these won't actually print on the board but just for our sake we'll draw another rectangle around there just to say what they are and usually what you'd do is you'd write something like R1, R2 so I'm going to copy one of these same as we did just then and um, paste it and then before I put it down I'm going to press R and you can see that R rotates it so I'm going to double click on it and type in R1 then again R, this one's R2 and um, that looks good to me now the next thing we want to do is uh, put the tracks in so if Right, well in fact, let's uh, just do some more work here. Right, you see this bar over here, this right bar? I've noticed that sometimes it disappears. So if that's not there, you need to do this. You need to go to View, and then Interaction Bar. Or as you can see, alternatively, just press F9. Then go to Go To, and I usually, usually put this on Net. So this Net thing, it really confused me to start with, but it's actually very simple. Uh, when wires need to be literally joined together as in sharing the same copper you'd put them in a net uh, if they don't if they're not meant to have a literal physical connection they wouldn't have them on the same net anyway what I want to do here is um, is link them together with these uh, air wires I think they're called air wires so now let's um, try and finish this puzzle off if you like so we've got V in then we want a track going to R1 then from R1 we're going to go to R2 then from R2 we're going to go to ground but over here we also want to uh, probe it if you like so R1 at this point here or you could do this point that needs to go to V out like that and essentially that's our air wires for our connections done now you can actually use a tool over here uh, I don't know where it is now um, uh, I can't see it but basically um, it automatically does it for you. It'll automatically put the tracks in. But I don't really want to do that. So now, um, what I want to do is join them together with my own tracks. Right, let's do our tracks. So if you go to settings and design technology, there's another tab that you need to look into. So right now yours is probably looking over here, net classes or spacings, probably spacings, because we did something with it before. But now go to uh, track styles and you see over here we've got all these different ones well these pads by default would have automatically gone to a certain track style and it's probably signal min you can actually check it but i won't i won't bother but basically change that width to 45 and it will change the thickness of the track now 45 is excessive for what we need to do uh, but whatever it doesn't matter because we're making our own boards uh, it will make things a little bit easier so we've done that. Now I'm zooming in with the, uh, the scroll wheel. Now let's make some tracks. So over here, you can see add track on the left side. If you just click on V in and go down to R1 over there, you can see that the air wire disappears. And instead, or in its place, you get this blue wire. Um, this is actually the track. And if we go to R1 to R2, we get the same sort of thing. And then R2 to ground, get that too. Right, now at this point you can see that we've got all these nets. Um, now if you go on, if you click on one of them, it highlights the, the uh, net. And like I said before, if the wires are joined together, it's supposed to be one net. And you can see over here, that's one net, because they are supposed to be joined together. Anyway, more tracks. So we need to finish this V out one. And you, basically you can do this however you want you could do it like that you could click on R2 and go over here there's loads of different ways of doing it but I'm going to do it this way um, you can actually go right down like that if you wanted um, in fact we'll do that let's just make it a bit nicer though so there you go that looks alright doesn't it so that's our voltage divider track 
the next thing you might want to do is label the board. Now these little things here, these little labels, they're cool but they're not visible um, when you print it. I suppose you could make them visible but it, I don't think it's worth it. So if you want to make them uh, actually work properly in your own boards, it's better to, to do it this way and I'll show you now. So go to add text and then go to layer and here we want to we want to say one bottom copper click OK now this will actually get printed um, on your board so um, double click on it and change the text so we'll say um, what should we say simple voltage divider simple voltage divider and the size what size text do we want well in fact let's choose a font as well I'm gonna go for um, Lucia 1, let's try that. Oh, Lolita 1, sorry. That's actually my font for uh, the channel, anyway. And uh, let's try 100, something like that. And it's too big, so let's try 50. Yeah, that's okay. So, again, it does this sometimes. If you zoom in, it goes. So we've got a simple voltage divider now. And we should probably put that up there. and get a hold of it and move it all around I think I'll make that a little bit smaller actually, let's say 40 yeah that's a bit better right so what do we want to do next well next we can do this thing called a ground plane but to do that what we want to do is we want to get hold of this net here and we want to change it so go to net and then go to change net and then we want to change it to ground and we want to rename it to GN D. G and D. So now we've got a net. Well, a properly named net. The next thing we want to do is go to um, add closed shape. Is that right? Let's just check. No, it's not. Sorry. Add area for copper pore. Then we want to click somewhere without dragging. Um, let's go for there and make a rectangle. When you've done, right click and then go to finish here okay so far so good the next thing we need to do is to oh by the way press esc sometimes 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 it doesn't let you out of a tool unless you press esc anyway so click over here then go to pour copper then choose your ground net and then click ok and then it's done it So what if you want to make several? Well that's quite easy. You can um, left click and drag over like that and copy one. Control C, Control V. Press all now and simply pop them next to each other like that. So in this particular one we've got three. Um, now the next thing we want to do is just tidy the board up so we'll get hold of them and bring them closer to the end of the board. If you go to if, if you go really really close, it'll come up with errors and stuff. And then we want to drag this border here, make that close, and then drag the bottom border up. This is actually called the board. This green thing is the board. Then Control and S for save. Uh, where should we save this voltage divider? Well, there will do. Right now, this is the moment of truth. We want to actually have a look at it. So go to 3D and then go to 3D view. And there it is. Now, this is a bit silly because these are the labels, but if you look at the back, there is your voltage divider. Just checking, actually. Is that reversed? Yep, it's reversed. That's good. You want the text to be reversed. And there it is. So let's zoom in and have a good look at it. And that's how to make uh, little PCBs or design little PCBs using this really great software. And now um, to actually get started with making a PCB, you go back to here and you press Control and P for print. Then you've got to take off these ones here, but leave bottom copper, and then click OK. And what you should find is that it will print out exactly your circuit exactly to the right size and everything 
and then you just use your whatever method to uh, put it onto your copper clad PCB so um, that's all there is to it so thank you for watching as normal I hope you like the video and goodbye